Since the year 2000, Uganda has had six Ebola outbreaks. The most recent case is that of a nine-year-old Congolese girl who died in Kasese district in August. Some of the health workers say to respond to emergencies of Ebola are at risk because the Minister of Health does not have enough vaccines for all of them. So we have not vaccinated all our frontline health workers in the high-risk districts. But uh, we are happy to say that there are no Ebola cases in Uganda. Dr. Sandra Nabatanzi, an epidemiologist in the Minister of Health, spoke to the MPs of the East African Legislative Assembly in Kampala. We, we had to prioritize which districts to start with. And we did prioritize the, the most high-risk districts are the ones that were vaccinated in the beginning. We have vaccinated uh, in, um, in, in Southwest. We have vaccinated in the North. We have also vaccinated in Renzori region, that is where Kasese is. But we also know that we, have, uh, we still have Waki, so we still have Kampala. And the World Health Organization is working hard to ensure that the vaccines are here. The members of parliament on the Committee on General Purpose are in Uganda to assess the country's preparedness in managing Ebola outbreaks in the region. Uh, simply, you know that these health workers are on the front line where they can easily contract the epidemic, they can easily contract the virus. And if they are not vaccinated and they are led to go and screen uh, people entering the country at the frontline areas, like the entry points, then that's a very serious concern that we think should be taken seriously. I think it's danger to them who are dealing with this um, patient directly. Dr. Nabatan say the ministry has so far vaccinated 7,000 health workers in the high-risk districts. Ebola first broke out in Uganda in the year 2000, claiming the lives of 35 people. The government has so far given 17 billion shillings to the latest Ebola response, but the regional lawmakers are asking for more resources to bridge the gaps that could result in the disease spreading from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I think this is something which needs to be put as a priority from the specific department, the health department. This is one of the key areas I think the country was supposed to focus on, because especially when they are doing the, their budget. The most recent numbers from the neighboring DRC indicate that there have been 3,091 confirmed infections with more than 2,000 lives lost. Jingo Francis, NTV.